In this video segment, we'll demonstrate how to use the action pattern include item to go ahead and create a global action pattern that would allow you to present the proper set of instructions whether a customer is commercial or residential. Up until this point, customers were creating uh, a global commercial and a global burglary action pattern and then going through and either assigning that to the customer through the transmitter type or customer level action pattern assignment. Now with the include statement we can generate a single action pattern that is the default action pattern but still take a look when the alarm comes in whether or not that is a residential customer or commercial customer and provide the proper action pattern to the operator. So the first thing that we're going to do is go through and create our commercial action pattern. So in this case whenever a commercial action pattern comes in maybe what we need to do is first contact the police. So we'll go in here and say that we want to contact the police authority and add that. And then once we've contacted the police, we want to go ahead and contact out to the site. So I'm going to go ahead and select the site phone number, or I'm sorry, customer, and then we'll go in and make sure that we do, uh, again, the site. And in this case, then, we'll contact the police first, and then we'll contact the site. Now, Perhaps uh, the jurisdiction has a different way of handling things if it is um, a, a, a residential account. So what we'll do now is we'll go in and create a residential account where maybe in this case we're contacting the customer first. So I'll go in here and create that customer contact. Then we're going to go ahead and contact the police authority. So we'll go in here and say that we're contacting the police and again at that site phone number. So in this case, we've got contact the customer first, then contact the police. Now to go in here and tie them together, we're going to create that global burglary action pattern. And what we'll do is we'll add a couple of include statements. So I'm going to go in here and say include. And then we're going to go down here to the qualifiers and find the residential. So if it is a residential, qualifier is yes, we want to use that residential global action pattern. Now on the other side, if this happens to be a, a commercial account, so we'll flag residential to no, then we want to go ahead and use that commercial action pattern. So in this particular case, what will happen is when the alarm comes into Manitou, we will take a look at the customer uh, page and take a look here at the customer type, uh, whether or not it's commercial or residential, and apply the proper action pattern when the alarm comes in. So now we'll go ahead and test that here by sending in a manual signal for this account. and I believe I have globals tied to my area 7 here and we'll send that in and there comes in the alarm and we can see that since this particular uh, item used that global action pattern notice that it was a commercial account it's coming in and saying that we need to contact the police first then we go through and contact the customer at the site so it's behaving exactly as we expect